Hi, I'm Abby Stokes, and this video is to show you how to search using a tablet. Searching on a tablet is not fundamentally that different than searching on a computer where you would visit a search engine like Google or a website like Wikipedia or look for video tutorials like this one on YouTube. What we need to first do is we need to get the equivalent of those websites onto your tablet. Now don't be nervous that you need to take notes while you're watching this because if you're on my website just below this video is a link that says click here for printable in instructions. So you can click on those instructions and print them out and follow step by step how to do what I'm going to show you here. So when you add a program to a tablet, it's called an app. And depending on the kind of tablet you are using, there's a different icon that you tap on to get to it. The tablet that I'm going to show this to you on is an Android tablet. That means that it uses Google's operating system. So the icon that we go to is the Google Play Store icon to get to where we can add an app. If you're using an iPad, it's the Apple Store's App Store. If you're using Microsoft Surface, it's Microsoft Store. So each of those have their own icons that you can follow to do basically the same steps here. Once you're at the place where you're going to get the app, and I just should say this, even though it says that it's a store, it doesn't mean that you need to buy it. There are literally hundreds of thousands of free apps available to you from each of these services. As a matter of fact, below this video, there's another link that says click here for 100 recommended free apps. That's a collection of free apps that I put together for you so you don't have to pay for them. But regardless of whether it's a free app or a paying app, in order for you to find what you're looking for, you're going to look for the magnifying glass or the word search when you're in the app store. The magnifying glass now has become sort of a ubiquitous way of searching whether you're on a computer or whether you're on a tablet or a smartphone. So once you tap on the magnifying glass, you tap in search, you type in what you're looking for and in this case I'm looking for Wikipedia. I tap on the Wikipedia app and the next thing you'll see is either the word install or the word free. You tap on that and wait a few minutes and the app will now be available for you on the device. Once you have those apps, they function very much the same way that the website does. So if you're using Wikipedia or YouTube or Google to search, you're going to type in keywords into the search box. And I just want to give you a couple of tips about how to best use the keywords that you're searching for. Let's say that we're searching for information about President Lincoln. You could type in President Lincoln or President Abe Lincoln or Abraham Lincoln and each different way that you type it in will result in different websites becoming available to you. So what if you put President Lincoln in quotes? That's telling the search engine you're using that you want to have those two words beside each other like a phrase. And then what if what you really want is information about President Lincoln and his hat? What you would do is you'd put President Lincoln in quotes, do a space, and then beside the plus sign you might put the, the word top hat or the words, um, uh, I think they also called it a chimney hat or a stovepipe hat. Search for each of those possibilities to be sure that you're finding exactly what you need. So a plus sign means that whatever comes after it needs to be included in the website. A minus sign means that you don't want to see websites that contain that word or phrase. And again, phrases are enveloped in quotation marks. So I hope that helps you get uh, whatever apps you want to put onto your tablet so that you can search in the best manner possible and gives you some tips how to maximize your searches. Please don't hesitate to email me with any questions that you might have and also email me with ideas for other videos that you might want to watch. I'm only a click away.